Hey, what's going on everyone? This is KC. I'm not going to waste any time. I'm going to jump right into this video series. So what we want to do is we want to start in the key of C. And now I will say this, you'll be able to play all of these different uh, tools that I'm getting ready to introduce. You'll be able to play these things in every key instantly. All right. So a lot of you all have asked me, you know, KC, I need some things that I can do instantly to transform my playing. So what I've done is I've created a series called Trance Formula. And basically I have a lot of different formulas that I use. Now, look, before you guys laugh at me, you asked me, some of you all sent, have sent emails, you said, KC, what are you thinking when you're playing? So this is what I'm really thinking, all right? Um, so let's jump in, let me give you an example of what a trance formula is or what, what some of these formulas look like. So basically, what I'm gonna do is, let's start with the 543 um, in the key of C, all right? A real cool thing you can do is, you can do a five, which in the key of C, here's one, two, three, four, five. So here's five, here is C. One, two, three, four. And then the three is C, one, two, three. So, and this takes me to the one chord. All right, so here we go, five, four, three. And what you wanna do is on the three chord, make it major. All right, so five, four, three is an E major chord, so E to the one. All right, and this is a really cool thing because you can do this in any key, all right? Takes me to the one. Let's go to the next key up in the key of D flat. Here is five, four, three. Make the three major. You have different versions you can do. All right, let's go back to the key of C. I'm going to show you a really, really cool thing you can do with the 543. All right, here's five, four, three. And we know we make the three major. All right, so that's the E major chord. All right, what I can do is five, Here's the four, and here's my three chord. That sounds kind of mushy, right? Watch this. All right, so basically what I did was five, four, three, and I did, I rolled this up. That's an A minor chord to the F major, C major, to the G major, all right? So I'm on the A minor here, F major, I can do that 4365 here, I can do it here, and I can do it here, because anytime you do a major chord, um, you can use the 43 plus 65. And I know you're probably wondering, what is 43 plus 65? All right, so let me, let me play an example of it, and then I'll break it down. So here's the first chord. All right, and I'm actually using some of the other, all these different nuances that you hear a lot of professionals use. Um, I'm actually using formulas for all of these different nuances that I'm doing. So let me break down the 4365. All right, so anytime I'm on a major chord, I can do a 4365. So basically what that is, is in the key of C, here is one, two, three, four. So four, three, you just do a four, three of whatever key uh, it is or whatever chord it is. So I'm in the key of C, I'm gonna do four, three, Victory is mine, victory today is mine. Now, if you're a musician you play like that, there's nothing wrong with that, but I will recommend that you 4365 it. All right, so for example, victory is mine, victory is mine, victory today. All right, so as you can see, I'm doing this in the key of E flat, here's four, three, and one, two, three, four, five, six, six, five. Victory is mine, all right? And you can do it, like I say, you can keep your same stuff that you've been playing. Victory is mine, mixing it. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. I told Satan. All right, and you're probably hearing me doing these, these other little nuances 
believe it or not, that's the 543 that we just covered. All right, I'm showing, I'm doing different variations of the 543. And again, I'm going to break all this stuff down. I know it seems like I'm probably moving a little fast, um, but I have a whole series of me breaking each of these nuances, uh, each of these, well, every nuance, but each of these formulas that you see here, I'm going to break all of them down so that you don't feel lost or confused. I can take my time. Um, let's go to another one here. Let's say, um, you know, there's a real popular um, progression you've probably heard. Uh, that's chopsticks. Um, but really, that progression that you hear is actually used in so many different songs. Do you hear it? So basically what I'm doing is I'm doing just a very basic, and again, I'll break this whole progression uh, down when I'm playing, um, but I haven't even started using one of the formulas like, yet. So this is what, what one of the formulas would sound like playing something like that. Um, there's a Christian song that goes, like the dew in the morning, gently rest upon my... All right. Now I'm going to put one of the formulas in. Listen, just use your ears. Did you hear that? <laughs> I do a different version. I did a, that same formula in a different key. So the cool thing about these formulas, you can use them and borrow from other keys so that you don't sound the same and so that you can really feel, um, fill up your playing so that you're not just playing just basic chords. Here we go. Watch this. I'll slow it down. So you can hear it. Now watch this. I'll do a different one. Same formula in a different key. Watch this. <laughs> Boom, boom. So that's the cool thing. You're not stuck in playing just the same boring stuff. You can use these formulas that I'm using and borrow from different keys. And again, I'll break all this stuff down, but I'm just trying to show you that a lot of the licks and nuances that you hear a lot of the professionals use. You Let's see, what's that song? Uh, instead of going to the four, I can do that. So I just want to say that I love you more than anything. And at the end of the song goes, I love you, Jesus. I adore you. Instead of going to the four, I'm going to do the one S D S. We know not not the four, but skip up. Just want to tell you, Lord, I love you. Y'all remember this chord? <laughs> More than anything, all right. And then you can do it. All right, so I'm just having fun here, but I did want to show you that you can one as Diaz. Sounds like I'm saying Buenos Dias, but you can do that one as Dias to the next level. I'm telling you, you can really, really expand and do some really, really nice. Um, for example, the national anthem here in the United States. Um, that's a very common song that a lot of singers like to add on and do their own flair. Um, but occasionally you'll come across that singer <laughs> who does a whole lot extra. <laughs> so let me show you something that you can do, uh, a cool formula or a cool movement you can do. So let's say, for example, you know how to play a C major chord. All right, keep the C at the top and turn it into a diminished seven chord. All right, if you don't know what this is, what I'm playing, don't worry, I'm gonna break it down. Um, even an absolute beginner will be able to understand what I'm doing. Um, here's a B flat major chord. Let's turn it into a diminished seven chord. All right. Um, here's E flat major. Turn it into a diminished seven. You just want to kind of do this in every key. D major, D diminished seven, G major, D dim uh, G diminished seven, and just kind of go through all your different keys. Because what you can do is, let's say they're singing that song, and the home of the, you know, they may do something like this. 
Praise the praise, the praise, the praise, the praise, the praise, home of the praise. You know, um, you can kind of move with them no matter where they are, just keeping that top note there and doing that little movement. All right. And, and the, another cool thing about this, let's say you're playing for an artist or a singer and they're like, you know, put me in the key of A. All right. So what you can do is while they're talking or leading into the song, you can kind of do this little movement here. Kind of by time, just something. Again, that's the D diminished seven, D flat diminished seven, or C sharp, since I'm in the key of A. B, take me back home, all right? So that's a really cool movement that you can do. Again, I'm not even digging into this <laughs> formula the way I'm really gonna do it in this video, because I'm gonna show you some really nice moves that you can even do with. That explains why I was able to stay on that same movement there. So, oh, say can you see, or how great is our God, sing with me how great, or sing with me how great. I gotta be honest with you guys, I created these formulas, um, and I've been using formulas like this for several years, and I've been sneaking them in here and there just to see how people would kind of receive me, you know, because no one wants rejection. So uh, I introduced uh, 42, 45, 51. You guys probably remember that from the Play Like You, my first series. Uh, and then um, I did the five minus two equals three in the Play Like You series three. And I got so much, you know, great feedback from it. So I figured, hey, you know what? Let me just do a whole series of formulas or ways that I like to kind of think um, to transform my playing. So hopefully you guys can use um, this style of thinking. Again, I, I know it doesn't exist. I know it seems strange. Um, you know, I didn't learn this in any college or from any textbook. Um, this series is really about conquering your fear, you know, and stepping out and doing something that it hasn't been done before. Um, at least that's what this series has been for me. So uh, hopefully these things can be of benefit to you guys. Um, they allow me to play in every key consistently. Um, to be able to do the different nuances and licks in every key so that I sound consistent. Um, that's a big, big topic that a lot of musicians are talking about and have mentioned about being fluent in every key. So this is what I recommend you do. What I want you to do is each month of the year, like for example, January, you know, you learn the key of C. You know, February, you learn the next key, like maybe F. You know, you, know, you can go in a circle of fifths or circle of fourths. So choose one key per month and learn all 12 of them in that key. And by the end of the year, you will be able to play in every key fluently. You'll be able to do all the different nuances, the things that you're hearing on the radio. I was sure to use things that people can use right now in any genre of music. I didn't want to lock you into a certain style or a certain genre. Um, so again, guys, I love you so much. I can go on and on, but I'm going to end it here. You know my slogan. Today is a new day, a new life, and a new opportunity to become a better you. Now listen, you saw I stepped out on faith and I conquered my fears of revealing something that looks very strange. <laughs> it looks strange to me, but I know it looks strange to you guys, but you see it works. So, you know, comment below. Tell me what, I mean, what fears have you um, yet to conquer? I mean, it could be, you know, you've, you've been doing a certain thing a certain way and you thought people would think, think that you were strange. Um, or maybe it's just tackling every key on the keyboard, you know, learning how to play in every key. Maybe that's a fear. Well, hey, you know what? Start today. Today is a new day, a new life to become a better you. So I tell you what, choose to maybe take a formula like this or some of the formulas here and to embellish and to conquer that fear of playing in every key. All right. So again, guys, I love you. And until next time, I will see you then.